this video, I will show you the first step that you need to do uh, before installing Myth Connect. So we are going to download Myth Connect first. So downloads. We are going to search for the correct version and I will show you a couple of options here. So the first option is to go to the next gen download page. This is the official next gen download page for Mirth Connect. So on this page, you will see the latest version of Mirth Connect, the latest release for each um, operating system. So you will find here, if you use Windows, you need to go here, Linux here and Mac OS here. So since I'm using Linux, I will go to this area and here you have many options. If you choose to go uh, uh, and use the installer, this is a very nice tool if you are um, just learning about uh, um, Mirth Connect because it guides, guides you through the process of installing and configuring Mirth Connect. Since I'm an advanced user of Mirth Connect, I will download this um, tar file, zip file, and I will save this one on my desktop here. And this is um, Mirth Connect, but it is just to uh, um, it's, it's a compressed file with all the um, programs that you need to run Mirth Connect. Um, the idea is that you extract the files that you have in the in, in this file, in the tar file, and uh, that will be um, extracted to a folder of your choice. Since I have here, this was finished. So I will just extract this here on my desktop for now. Yeah. And I will move this folder to my OPT file um, folder. Yeah, so I have here OPT. Here is where I install all the systems that I use for development and system integration. And I have a previous version of Mirth Connect here. And since this is the version 3.8.1, I will rename this folder to Mirth 8.1, yeah? It's like this one that I already have, but with the new version, yeah? And I will, on the terminal, I will go to the desktop. I will look for Mirth Connect here. I have the folder here, and I will move that to the OPT. Um, so. Let's see if that was moved. So I have here Mirth 381. Another thing that you will need to actually run uh, Mirth, um, to, to run the Mirth administrator. I will show you that in another video, how to run it. Uh, this is just about downloading and extracting. You need the administrator launcher, yeah? So with the administrator launcher, it's also the same. You need to look for a specific um, OS here and the specific option that you, that you want. You have also an installer here, but uh, as I already said, I will download just the tar file. So I just click there and download. But I think I already have that version. So I will check here, Mirth Launcher. And I think it's that version. Let's check if I have that version installed, already installed. But if you don't have that, if it, because this is your first time, you need to just download one of these options. So you need two things, Mirth Connect and the uh, Mirth uh, Connect Administrator Launcher. So um, here, 
it doesn't say the version <laughs> so I will try to it doesn't say the specific version let's see if we have the version here I don't think I need to download that again it doesn't say the version mm -mm -mm. Again, you don't need to do these steps if you already um, if you don't have the the Mirth Administrator Launcher, just download it. Uh, 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 um. Do, do, do. Let's see if in Docs we have the release. I don't think the license has anything about the version inside let's check this out uh, uh, uh. no just disclaimer and let's see if here no no we don't have anything about the version it seems maybe in the install this is more more difficult than i thought this should say maybe the build uh -uh. Ha! it's really difficult to tell what's the version the current version so just for you let's say that you just downloaded the latest version of the uh, Mirth Administrator um, the Mirth Connect Administrator Launcher yeah and you do the, you did the, th the same steps as I did for the Mirth Connect server yeah so that is the first step that you need to do um, in order to actually run um, Mirth Connect the second step is if you go to the folder where Mirth Connect is installed is you have a couple of options so if you go to the config folder uh, you will find here a configuration file yeah this is the mirth.properties and you have here some options the first thing that you need to do after uh, downloading and installing or just um, extracting the the compressed file is you might need to change the port numbers yeah there are two ports the web port that is 8080 and the secure administrative administrative port that is 8443 you might need to change those if you are already using those if you don't have anything running for example in 8080 on your machine for example sometimes I, I have a Paki server running on my machine on 8080 so I need to change the port for Mirth Connect I change to something like 8081 something like that yeah very easy to remember yeah then here nice thing is you can actually see the version of Mirth um, but for the administration or launcher it was a little difficult to to reach the specific version um, then other things that you can change in the configuration is the for example the database connection Mirth Connect comes with a, an, an embedded database that is Derby that is a Java database um, so you don't need to change that if you don't have uh, an extra database where you have um, when you want as Mirth Connect to store your data so you don't actually need to do anything here but if you have for example MySQL and you want Mirth to store the information um, there the information is information about configurations information about uh, communication channels etc um, you w you might need to change this option database URL with this URL to something that looks like this yeah and this is the connection string for MySQL so what you need to do actually in your MySQL server is to create a database that is MirthDB or something like that 
and you can also change of, of course the value here and, and create another uh, another name in your database but it's pretty easy to do and also if your database requires uh, credentials to log in you can actually configure that here for the derby configuration you don't need anything this will work out of the box so that is that is why you don't need actually the installer guides you through the process of installing and configuring Merth Connect and basically ask you about the database that you want to use, the user and password for the database and the ports. So these are the basic options in um, the, the installer, but you can just download, extract uh, the files and just come here and change them manually. Yeah, you don't need all the, all the configuration. Um, so here is where you set, say which database you will use. Here is the connection string and here the user and password. Yeah, you don't need anything else than that. And then, and this will be the last step of our process. You need to run the server. This is actually Merth Connect. Yeah, running. So to run the pro the, the server process, you need to MC server here. Yeah. And you have two options here. You can actually configure the service to run. So when you um, when you uh, turn on your computer, Mirth will be running there if you configure that as a service. But on my development machines, I don't do that configuration because I don't want Mirth Connect to be running uh, every time I, I turn my development machine on. I want to run it when I'm actually developing things in Mirth. So I will show you how to run uh, Mirth in your development machine. For a production server, you will need to run Mirth as a service. Yeah, because if your server rest restarts, you want Mirth to be running right away. Yeah, so if you just run MC server, if everything um, is okay in the configuration, if the ports are free, blah, 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 you will get here a successful message like Merit Connect is running correctly. Yeah, and this might take a while. Yeah. The second thing that you need to do is when you have the server running, you need to. Um, to actually do something useful with Mirth, you need to run the Mirth Connect Administrator. The Mirth Connect Administrator is basically a user interface that allows you to interact with the server. Here we are running the server, so I will put this here. So now it's running, seems everything seems okay. And I will open another terminal and I will go to the uh, OPT Mirth launcher and here in the launcher you will execute launcher and I will it will run the administrator launcher and the idea of the administrator launcher is that if you have many machines and, and servers and, 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 and different maybe versions of Mirth Connect installed on different machines you can actually connect to uh, those machines and you have you can have many configurations here yeah so for Merth Connect in my local machine I use the first configuration here and it's just HTTPS localhost and the administrative port yeah this is 8443 this is the one that you configured in the configuration file if you change that port you need to here put that um, that you configure. The rest of the configuration here is standard. I just changed the icon because I, I like the dancing parrot here. And then if you hit on launch, let's have our fingers crossed. This is trying to connect actually to our, our new server, the Mirth Connect that I just downloaded from the internet. I just show you how to download that. And this is trying to connect. It seems it is downloading some libraries and loading some uh, plugins there, blah, blah, blah. And this is the login to the Mirth administrator. So you need to log in for the first time. 
if this window shows, this is this is a good sign. Yeah, the administrator was able to to the administrator launcher was able to launch the administrator, and now we want to connect through the administrator to our server. Yeah, so we have two different applications that the administrator launcher was closed and then the administrator login appeared so uh, this is the same url that we used to to connect through the, the administrator the administrator launcher and we need to uh, put here some authentication um, credentials so the first time you log in to your server the administrator credentials are admin admin yeah so admin admin login Let's see, Some, sometimes you might have some uh, um, certificate problems connecting. It depends on the OS that you use. Yeah. Let's hope nothing happens here. If this goes through uh, for the first time you log in, it will ask you to change your password, your admin password. So here, this will appear just one time so it says hey you log in for the first time this is your admin account change the password basically but since this is my development machine and i don't want to forget the passwords i set this again to admin so it will admin admin uh in my uh, machine always yeah and also if you if you don't check this box the rest of the information is not required yeah, this is to register your version on next gen. Yeah. Of course, this is a, a, a small disclaimer. If you are setting up a production server, you need to reset your password and your password should be complex. Yeah. So this is just admin admin. Boom. Login. And I'm logged in. This is telling me about the new version, blah, blah, blah. I don't want this notification to appear here. But right now I'm using the new version, the latest version 381, and this is the Merth Connect Administrator. On another video, and just a small comment, this is connected to my server. Yeah, you can see somewhere here, here in the top bar, you can see the URL of, that, of the server that this administrator is connected is localhost. So it's connected to the server that is running here. Yeah. And on another video, I will show you how to create a couple of uh, sample um, channels and how to use the administrator a little bit. So this is the, the, the purpose of this video, just download and basic configuration and running Merth Connect. Hope you enjoyed this and check the next video.